I don't think y'all ready for the news today. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope news items for this video before we get started you already know give it a thumbs up and if you want to join my dope gaming discord become a sponsor twitch youtube or through patreon.com backslash obi wan plays let's get to this news bro Matt McLaurin, PlayStation's Vice President of UX Design, he commented on some on a LinkedIn post telling fans to expect other versions of the upcoming console and his comments have since been deleted. And so he jumped the gun because all we've seen was the white version at um at the playstation reveal that's gonna be my probably their main line console but with every i was looking around for my um playstation 4 pro i got the um god of war edition it's out in the living room i let my kids they want to do astrobot um the, the the ar game that's what they're playing right now but every playstation console has had like different editions bro We've already gotten the um, announcement of Spider-Man Miles Morales, which has been confirmed to be its own standalone game. It's not Spider-Man 2, but it will be a standalone game, not DLC, as previously said. Bro, just imagine. Closer to launch, Sony announces, whoo, you talking about fire, bro. And so... He has confirmed, Sony has pretty much confirmed, and then they deleted it, that we will be getting special editions of the next-gen consoles. I personally would want an all-black console. I saw the control. No, you know what? I like the white and black design. I like the, um, the model that's been shown I like I like this design, bro. I like the white and black look. It looks futuristic. It just looks next gen, bro. And so that's probably the one I'll, I'll pick up at launch. And maybe when they announce a PlayStation 5 Pro or something, I get a different color. But it's been confirmed that special um, other versions of the console will be announced. Now, time will tell. Will something like this be announced before um, we... Because notice, pre-orders haven't gone up yet. There's been leaks and there's been more price leaks. Um, Amazon, there's been Amazon France, a new price leak. Um, 550, 550 for the disc model and 450 when it's converted. No, it's 565 for the disc model and $450 for the all digital model uh, i'm still leaning towards all digital bro i get i don't buy disc anymore but pre-orders have not officially gone up and what if sony is um sony because they um they already confirmed they're gonna do more than one presentation leading up to the console launch we could very well get announcement of limited edition or different versions of the console prior to launch which would be lit bro all right next news item i thought this was pretty big bro they interviewed the game developer polyphonies um kazu kazu nori yamachui yamauchi i butchered his last name he was recently interviewed and asked how Gran Turismo's visuals might improve in next-gen 
his answer was crazy, bro, and not what I expected. Um, this is what he says. I think display resolution-wise, 4K resolution is enough. I'm more interested in the advancements we can make in terms of the time resolution, in terms of frames per second. Rather than staying at 60, I'm more interested in raising it to 120 frames per second or even 240 frames per second. I think that's what's going to change the experience from here on forward. And so, uh, this article is from Metro.UK. They're saying that the PlayStation 5 is supposed to be able to support AK. But uh, the developer for Gran Turismo, he's saying they're not trying to bump worry about resolution. They're um, mo focusing more on frames. And the fact that he said that he is looking into 240 frames per second, that would be crazy. And I think it would be possible, of course, there's going to be hits in resolution. So maybe 1080p, 720p. 720p 240 frames per second would you sacrifice that much resolution for 240 frames per second but he made it seem like according to um polyphony the developer that 240 frames is possible on the playstation 5 we have to wait and see because i the, the the potential of this console has not been tapped of course, yeah, it just it's just getting on the market. We're just starting to see the games. It's once developers get more comfortable with the hardware, that's when we really start to see it. And a racing game would be a perfect game to blow up the frames, um, have crazy frames per second for the fast pace. It would just look good. All right, so I thought that was interesting. All right, the next news item. Bro, new Madden trailer was revealed and... It wasn't so much the trailer that got me hyped because we all know <laughs> Madden is, for the last couple of years, just felt like the same game to me. Even this, this trailer, it looked good, but it looks like last last year's game. But EA has confirmed if you buy Madden on the PlayStation 4, you get Madden on the PlayStation 5. You get the upgrade for the PlayStation 5 for free. That's it. I, I buy... I bought Madden every single year. Probably going to be getting on the PlayStation 5, man. Madden. I, I, I've been playing Madden Ultimate Team lately. I haven't really gotten into it, but I pick up Madden every year. I used to be... Madden used to be like my main, main... I mean, like, main game I played. Now I'm more of a mad, casual Madden dude. Um, but this news of the upgrade has me hoping for the game that I play um, the most now. NBA 2K. 2K21 was featured in the PlayStation 5 presentation. I'm hoping they do the same thing um, EA does. You buy 2K21 on the PlayStation 4, you get the free upgrade to um, 2K21 on the PlayStation 5. That would be dope. Speaking of 2K, they also released a new trailer for PGA Tour 2K21 highlighting the career mode. I don't know if I'm pick this up. I might get to try the demo, see how the game is, see if I like it. Too many games to play. Last news items. We're gonna be quick with this one. Pokemon presentation is tomorrow, Wednesday, at 6 a.m. Pacific time. That's 9 a.m. for me. I probably won't be live streaming this. I'm not really that big into Pokemon. The presentation will focus. They're assuming it's gonna be on the DLC coming to the game. So for my Pokemon heads. Presentation will be tomorrow and the last news item. Kingdom Hearts has been finally announced for the Nintendo Switch. But it's not what you expect, boy. It's a rhythm game. A mobile iPhone rhythm game. All right, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things game, bruh. We out, boy.
I got my outro as the intro. <laughs> that was a major fail. You know what we could do? We still live, bro. Hey, I'm so lit. I got it right now, bro. Look at that. Look at that. We just changed it. We good. Outro. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces